If you had to define yourself, would you say you are outgoing or shy? Sometimes I come across as shy, but um, a lot of times after 12, I'm very outgoing. <laughs> People that know me tend to say I'm probably a bit outgoing. Uh, got a big mouth on me sometimes and <laughs> gets me in trouble, but uh, yeah, I enjoy a good laugh. How would you describe the approach between Australian or New Zealand rugby and the French rugby? What's the difference in training and game plans? Do you want to take this one first? I, I think that Australian rugby is better than the New Zealand. Well, obviously <laughs> it's not, mate, because look what happened in the World Cup. <laughs> nah, but uh, I think the main difference I've, I've personally found is the, uh, the focus on set piece. I think here we do so many lineouts and scrums, and it's, not, it's just a lot different from back home. Uh, back home, you know, we're always focusing on being able to catch pass from any position, you know. It's two on one, and you've got a prop. He has to make that pass, you know. So I think it's just, uh, yeah, a bit different for me. But, uh, yeah, and also I think it's the speed of the game. Oh, I yeah. like it more here because it's a lot uh, more forward-oriented, so... We get the ball a lot more and, uh, yeah, oh, not really the scrum training though. <laughs> There's a lot more the scrum training here. So, um, next question is, uh, did you know some players from the club before coming here? Um, I knew Jack from back home in Auckland. Um, he was still a little schoolboy back then. Real young, fresh face. He's grown a bit of hair now. Um, I knew... Fatuina from our time in um, Samoa. Uh, Vas and I are both from Auckland, but what he didn't tell you is when I was still a little kid, I was still the twice the size of him that I am now. You know, he's just a little boy, he's, really. He's still a little boy. Uh, and I also played with uh, Fatuina when we both played for Northland. Our next question is, um, some of you arrived late in the season. How did the team welcome you? Well, I've been here since day one, mate. Uh, I've been do, putting in the hard yards for all the pre season you know, working hard in that 40-degree heat, day in, day out, on the grind with the boys. I don't come in late like you well, imposters. I, I, I wasn't lucky enough to get the contract that you guys got, so <laughs> I, was a, I was a late incomer, and then um, I'm just lucky to be here, so I'm just, the boys have been welcoming what was your previous club? Uh, the previous club I was at last season was uh, Leicester Tigers in the UK. So it was a pretty big team to play for, and, and unfortunately, I didn't. I wasn't able to play a lot uh, due to some of the stars they had there, like Brad Thorne. But uh, it was awesome to train and learn under him, and I think I got a lot out of it. Uh, did you follow the results of? You saw from the beginning of the season. Uh, as soon as I got wind that I might be coming to Usan uh, last season, I uh, did a bit of research and was uh, very disappointed when they did not go up to Pro D2 because uh, I remember watching that game very eagerly <coughs> and was uh, heartbroken, as I'm sure the rest of you were, when they, uh, I think it was a little scored in the corner in like the last minute. So, yeah, that... It was a bit of a letdown. So hopefully we go one up this year and uh, get to Pretty 2. What surprised you the most when you arrived to Usa? How, uh, how professional the boys wanted to be. I think uh, you can see the way they trained. That they really were disappointed about not going up. And so the way they trained is even harder and the way we play. And so, yeah, that's what I thought was quite surprising. Uh, yeah, just the professional environment that they're in at the moment um, and the facilities. It's, uh, it's top class. It's probably better than half the teams over there in Australia. <laughs> so. so we're very fortunate and blessed. What is or was your first impression of the club so far, lads? Um, my first impression of the club so far, I think it's been awesome. Uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's been a few hiccups along the way, but um, you know, clubs seem to handle it pretty well so far, so I'm really blessed and um, fortunate for the opportunity. Yeah, I think uh, me, the big thing is the, the brotherhood of the, uh, of the team. I think there's 
you've got players from all over the world and uh, from all different uh, ages as well, you know, and different uh, histories. And everyone, doesn't matter where you're from, we've got Argentinians, we've got Kiwis, we've got Australians, the French boys. Uh, everyone just gets along real well. And I think they're, uh, they're, no one's afraid to joke with everyone. Like, nothing's off limits. Banter's always good. And so, yeah, I think uh, that's what I'm really enjoying at the moment. What country did you cheer on during the last World Cup? Well, it's a simple question for me. Uh, New Zealand through and through. You two are strangers. You were born in New Zealand, were you not? Me, mate. I was going for France from the, from the get-go. Yeah. <laughs> I was France last World Cup. I was France this World Cup. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. I've been France day one. This one's a good one for you two. What are your main skills on the field? Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's not much. Um, I'll probably just say lineouts, touche, as they call it here. It's probably one of my... Uh, my strengths, uh, yeah, not many else, say, hey, just keep it humble. <laughs> Communicating to the boys on the field, um, just because these two don't know how to speak French yet, so um, <laughs> I've been helping them a lot on field with on field calls and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Can you say your name in its entirely so that people know how to pronounce it the right way? Do you have any nickname, by the way? Oh, Vasa. <laughs> Pale and uh, no nickname, not yet. Say la la, so it's just say la la, or nickname is just la la. It's just Jack Witten. Uh, <laughs> Jack Witten. <laughs> it's, it's Jacques. It's Jacques. Jacques Witton. Witton. <laughs> Monsieur Witton. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for taking the time to answer the questions. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Welcome, so, uh, to, <laughs> welcome to friends. Oh, thanks. Put it there. Enchanté. Uh, and then Tucson Rugby, right back at you. <laughs> back to the studio. Au revoir. Bonsoir. <laughs>